Polls close at 7, so still one hour to make your vote count. KMAX Ryan Chandler joins us live from Lubbock County Elections Office. Ryan, how is the numbers looking so far? Well, that's right. We're out here at Mission Control for today's election as voters all around the city get out to cast their ballots. We just spoke with the uh, Lubbock County Elections Administrator, Roxine Stinson. She tells us as of about 4.30 today, about 8,000 Lubbock residents have cast their ballots. But she says the busiest time for, throughout the entire election is tonight from 5 to 7. So if you haven't voted yet, you only have an hour left to get in line. So get out and cast your ballot as soon as you can. Now, the, the workers and the volunteers here at the Lubbock County uh, Election Center have been working very diligently to get ready to cast your ballots. Uh, but importantly, they're doing so under very different restrictions than in years past. Remember, this is the important, th this is the first election since Texas's Senate Bill 1, which is the sweeping voter reform and election integrity bill that passed the legislature last year. And she says that this has caused a lot of extra issues and work for, for county workers and for voters, with up to 30 percent of mail-in ballots needing to be returned and corrected uh, due to some new requirements uh, that are placed on voters. Here, here's what she said about how the county and the voters are, are dealing with those new changes. I looked at the list the other day and about 120 that we sent back. That doesn't include those that have come in to correct them. Those are only those that asked us to return the ballot to them with a new envelope so they can make the corrections. How many do you think in total that needed to be corrected? Oh, um, we've sent out about 1,500, about 30 percent have um, needed corrected. Now, one of the most interesting races that we'll be following tonight is that race to replace John Furlow in House District 84. That's that four-way race between uh, Carl Tepper, David Glasheen, Cade Wilcox, and Cheryl Little. I'll be reporting from Glasheen campaign headquarters tonight, but we do expect this race to go into a runoff. So we'll bring you the latest as the results start rolling in. Remember, polls close at 7. Uh, Ms. Stinson says we should be seeing results by 9 o'clock tonight, if we're lucky. We'll bring you the numbers as soon as we have them.